how are you, Jesse? Doing great. Well, so this week I thought we could talk maybe about um, the system preferences that allow you to track clinks in the OPAC. Great. That's awesome. So we're in the OPAC, correct, on this side. Should we show them the system preference for tracking clicks first or discuss it a little bit? Yeah, let's turn, let's jump over to the staff client side and we'll jump right into Koha administration and we'll pull this up. So for those of you who wonder about what links your students or patrons are um, clicking on from the system, there is a OPAC preference in your system preferences that allows you to track clicks. What this will allow you to do is either set it to track, track anonymously or don't track the links that patrons click on. So if you have URLs in your 856 subfield U, this will allow you to go back and see who's actually clicked on those links or if you want to track anonymously, you can go in and look and see how many of those links were actually clicked on. Now, if you have it set to track, this will track the individual who is logged into the system. If the individual isn't logged in, it won't track their name. It'll just track the number of links. That's good to know. So even if they're not logged in, you would still see that it was, it was clicked. You got correct? it. Okay. All right, so let's set this to track and we'll come over here to our OPAC and let's do a search again. And what I'm going to do just for testing preferences, so we set ours up to track, I'm going to log into the system. Now what about all those YouTube trailers people might be adding to their um, records in the 856U? Would you be able to see how many people are clicking YouTube trailers in addition to maybe like um, downloadable online resources? Great question, Kelly. Um, so if you put the YouTube trailer in there, that'll go in your 856 subfield U, which will populate in the media tab down in the holdings um, area of your detailed record. So yes, that would populate because it is tracked in that 856 subfield U. Well, it's good to know. So you can see if that's worth the trouble of adding it to all your maybe movies. Really good suggestion. So let's take a look first. Let's just look for a quick ebook in here so we can click on that link. All right, so here comes our results. So the first one we have here is a link that takes us right to um, Project Gutenberg. So this 856 subfield U comes right in, um, takes us right out to Project Gutenberg where we can come and download that. So now let's go over to our staff client again and let's take a look at a report. That way we can actually go in there and see what's going on. So I'm going to come in here to reports and then um, use saved and we have two reports that we've added into our model site and we can share that SQL with you. Um, that's going to be on our online tab. So we have two different ones. We have the number of links clicked in the last month. So for those of you who might be tracking anonymously, um, we can come in here and run that report. And what that'll do is that will strictly look at the number of links that were clicked. So there we can see that seven were clicked in the last month. Now if we come back, and let's take a look at our other one that we have in there. Um, our other report is going to tell us the list of links that were actually clicked. Um, so if you want to take a look at that, I'm going to come over here and now let's run that report. This is going to actually give you a breakdown of those individuals. So we can come in and look at that list. So here's the one that we just clicked on this morning. Um, the ebook is 40 and then that gives us our information. Now you'll notice because I'm logged into the system we can see where it was tracked. Great. That's awesome. We'll definitely give you these this SQL code in the blog post in addition to this video so you can go ahead and add those reports to your system if this is something you're interested in doing. Excellent. This was great. I, I learned something today, Jesse. All right, Kelly, this is great. So for those of you that are watching us weekly, if you have any suggestions or you want to see some videos out there, send us a an email or submit it in a ticket and let us know what you'd like to see. Great. Okay. okay. Have a great day, Jesse. Have a great day, Kelly. Thanks.